in 1962 within the United States, Walmart is a retail business based with grocery and department-based goods. Known for offering deals for consumers as well as customers, the corporation is known for having a mixed reception outside the United States. With countries locking worker rights in Central and South America having positive reflections of the company, and countries with strong, well represented worker rights in Central European nations such as Germany and Northeast Asian nations as Japan and Korea being negative towards the corporation due to its awareness nationally within the United States. From the early 1990s to the early 2000s, Walmart used their mascot of Smiley, which was an ambiguous smile face to promote deals to potential customers. Due to the emotionless aspect of a simple smile face, during commercials and promoted media, the character would either become more complex or vague visually depending on the sale available or mentioned to customers as mentioned, such as costumes that Smiley would wear depending on what's to be sold or bought. In the early 2000s, the character was removed from being the mascot of Walmart. As advertisements from Walmart decided on a different approach to the promoting of the corporation on Smiley wasn't the right choice at the time. That was the public explanation, but privately, Walmart through Smiley was actually involved with a trademark dispute with a designer, Franklin Lufrani, president of the Smiley company. The company often branded itself as, quote, the original Smiley brand, end quote, as he claimed to have created the Smiley design in 1972 and registered the trademark in more than a hundred individual countries. This is actually disputed because human beings have been drawing faces with smiles for thousands of years. In terms of the modern sense, with the Walmart character of Smiley dates to 1848, with the Merriam-Webster Dictionary as the explanation of quote-unquote Smiley as an adjective for quote, having a smile, end quote, or quote, smiling, end quote. In terms of the yellow and black colored happy or smiling face, dates to the early 1960s within the United States. According to the Smithsonian Institution, the smiley face now known was credited to Harvey Ross Ball, an American graphics artist from 1963. He created a design at that time to show off to employers of a company and was paid 45 US dollars, which was roughly 380 US dollars in terms of 2020 value of money for his work. But due to the social and political climate of the 1960s in the United States, information had it that they were almost certain to be nearly identical versions of Ball's design that were created before 1963. But his work is credited as being the first depiction of the modern smiley face design. When Franklin Lufrani attempted to trademark the smiley face within the United States in 1997 to later commercialize the concept. However, in 2001, Walmart opposed the trademark despite the fact that Lufrani had applied for a trademark years previously, and Walmart had used the smiley character of their own during this time of Lufrani's trademark enforcement. For a number of years until 2011, Franklin Lufrani and Walmart engaged within legal disputes over the trademark, with neither side really making any clarification as to what the smiley face was, and who in terms of a person or legal entity could actually copyright, successfully trademark even, such a concept. The details of the lawsuit were never made public, but information hotter that even with Lufrani's trademark and Walmart's depiction of Smiley, it's theoretically impossible to fully enforce such a copyright of such an ambiguous, random, or infinitely interpretive design of such a character. Even if Walmart were to use the mascot once more, a further trademark claim would be impossible to hold in terms of an adequate court dispute. 
Sometimes a coder could be forgotten because the reason was of trademark copyright infringement.